Okay guys, welcome to the SolidCam course. In that course, we're going to talk about Surface ICP toolpad. When we are and looking at our product, you can see that there is some undercut here. If you use the section view button, after that we need to click our surface. After that, I just need to drag that arrow to see my undercut. So, and if you look at that part, this is my undercut position. So that's why it is not good for us. After roughing process, if you intend to create your finishing process, you also need to consider that part. So that's why I am using Surface High Speed Toolpad for only that area. When I am double click on my toolpad, and we're gonna see the some Surface High Speed Toolpad, of course. So this is as a technology side, I prefer to use more between the two boundary curves. This is my geometry side. This is make one and position one as a coordinate system. If I am turned to geometry side, this is my geometry. Only selected one, two and three surface. After that, I need to decide that my curve. My curve is starting from there. So this is another curve. This is start edge curve. This is end edge curve. And I can use the show button here. So after that, this is my tool. Tool also quite important because we can and uh, we need to figure out our uh, and undercut machining process. So that's why I prefer to use that kind of tool. So this is my tool. After that, this is my levels and retract and distance. As a toolpad parameters, this is my maximum step over according to my tool diameter and maximum step over. We can also see the, our skull lobe height. This is my linking process. That part is also quite important. Lead in parameters, vertical tangent and lead out parameters, same as the lead in process. I can also decide that arc swept degree 90 degree. This is my an arc diameter according to my tool diameter, 100% of my tool diameter and can be my arc diameter. This is also my feed rate, percent of and 50. Okay, so that's all. And we just need to calculate our tool path. After that, we can use the simulation button to see what I did. Oops, it is fast a little bit. Yeah. I'm starting from that point and reaching that curve. So this is some and harmonic toolpad actually. So when I look at my toolpad, of course, we can see here and maximum step over here. So this is my and minimum step over here. Okay. So of course, after that, I need to rotate that toolpad. It's quite easy in SolidCam. I just need to double click on my and toolpad. I just use copy and save properties in and cam operation. After that, it's easy to use roughing process and more options. I need to activate rotate and transform position. I just need to write here minus and 36 and number of steps 10 so we can start from and that point after that rotate it and according to and my origin and center of my origin of course okay that's fine this is our toolpad you can also find that product and and solidworks file and solid cam file in udemy and it is all free course and you can see the other examples here and you can also download and download exam and exercise file from there okay it's it's totally free don't hesitate to log in and enroll that course i am really appreciated your interest you can also find our 
an extra course here solid cam and master cam cnc and swan soft and something like that some engineering stuff okay i also would like to emphasize that i am really appreciated your interest we are really and appreciate and what is coming from you we just try to make our community and bigger and begin and day by day after that for example if your friends ask me a question and maybe i should create some video for him or her after that you can also and find that video in the same and group okay Thank you very much for listening to me. I'm really appreciated your interest. Take care. Be careful.